All right, we had a situation, but we're back on. I am going to now attempt to reinvestigate some of these tes testimonies because, like the manly way said, contradiction of the tiger testimony where he had but the thing is that oh shit okay don't 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 press that button did it did it pick up the screaming <laughs> You can check the program lineage if you do not trust me. Because the thing is, like, this checks out. And he says himself he does not lie, so clearly he doesn't lie. Um, yeah, there was, like, door slamming. There was, let's just say there was a girl with a knife upstairs freaking out, thinking someone stole something and having a reason to believe they knew who it was, which wasn't me, but it's someone that lives on my floor. So, oof. So, and things might get loud again sooner than later. So if it does, I'm going to... I wasn't sure if I was going to end up calling the police, but... I mean, it says he arrived at her home at 10 sharp. So, I mean, okay, let's work with this first. He basically says he arrived at her home around 10 o'clock. And that the evidence to support it was the thing, because the advertisement, that's how he knew the time. He saw an ad when he was going to make the call. Yes. And it does overlap with the programming schedule, so we've got that. Then, um, was it in the last one? I'm just going to pause it. It's easier to, I wish it would let you skip through the subtitles or give you the, like a transcript. It'd be a lot easier than trying to work through the video. Okay, so we received a message around 9.40. So I suppose part of the question might be, why did it take 20 minutes for him to get there and to back to the phone? Oh, shit. If he received a message at 940, no, I was just, Trying to think if it took 25 minutes, 25 minutes to go around the long way. There's 940. Think about it. He either would have taken 10 minutes to go from the house, her, the victim's house to the phone or 25 minutes, depending on of that camera. If it took 25 minutes from 940 minus the 25 minutes that would already be 1005 so unless he lives within 5 minutes of that house location i don't know if he actually lives on site or not cuz if it was 10 minutes then that means it takes him 10 minutes just to get there and then 10 minutes to get to the th to the phone no no cuz the report came in at 10.10. Am I right? 10, 10, 10 minutes after 10. Whereas 40, we'll put 9.05, that would still give him 10 minutes to have gotten there. So it depends on how long it takes him to get there. I don't know where he comes from, though. Ooh, there's a big key detail here to be worked out. So he received a message around 9.40. Sent by, what's her face? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's the neighbor of Sasha. The message said Sasha and Tiger were fighting. That's 
everything checks out there. That's that's true. Then he says he feels he felt weird. I'm not the security. So why did she tell me that? And it was at that time that he so he already presumed the victim was dead. Like he's like, oh, she must have been killed. Like they were fighting, which like this is like potentially self-incriminating type of stuff when you don't want it, like you don't talk to the police about stuff like that. Yeah, let's take a look. At, yeah, I agree. I want to re-go through these. Um, the third one was, I think, the affair stuff, right? So we... Yeah, so we don't need to worry about that one. Sasha,有个男朋友叫老虎,他两感情不好,平时老吵架,老虎有时候生气了还会打Sasha,那天晚上我听到老虎在咆哮,我以为他俩又在打架。Okay, so this is the general one. So this, that one just confirms that they fight and that whatever. She says she walked to the door, looked around. At that time, I don't know what that time is. She said she wasn't sure. But if she made the call, then we do know what time it is. It was around 940. The doorway was all empty. Their voice lingered. It was loud. I sent a message to Brother Second to ask him to manage it. So that. So no, that, that's confirmed. Like that overlaps just fine. Unless she had a time stamp. And then the third one just kind of gives us information on the affair. Hmm. So, oh, do what I did. What's up? Neighbor of Sasha said that, like, it's a text message. I would like to see this text message for one. Okay, so it might not be, that might not even be the one in question. If she messaged the landlord at 940, Time the clock was broke. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I forgot about the fucking clock time. You're right. That's the exact same time the clock stopped working. Which means... Oh, man. That means there was already... Not a quarrel of voices, but she was already being attacked at 940. And the doorway was clear, as she said. So something's not adding up there. Yeah, because she did say the door was clear. And for some reason, this doesn't feel like it's going to do it. And yeah, she didn't, like she said she didn't see nothing, and that was this one. Or maybe not. But... but those don't connect. It does not give me the connection, so what the hell. I'm going to see... This is which testimony. Uh, I just want to double check that. She does that. She does that. Because this gives us a time. Just, just to be. Because sometimes I might miss. No, it's definitely okay. Oops. 
Unless I also need to include that. Or... No. Because, I mean, I think we're on to something here with this. But... It's... I mean, it's not accepting it as a thing. I wish it was at least like a some kind of an indicator if you're on the right track, like if it's like a two piece thing. First one, change it. Yeah. Because that's the one where she talked about it. I don't think you like this one just talks that they fight. And then this one is about the affair. For the last testimony, you think the order matters? I would hope not. What? What? Are you fucking kidding me? Did not did we not try that? Wait a minute. Hold on, I'm just trying to make I thought we tried that, but I guess we didn't. Because the majority of the clues are gonna be based on two pieces of entry. Only like rare is gonna be three and four if what the game told me is true. But yeah, that I mean it makes sense. Like he said he got a call at nine forty. The clock stopped at 9.40. Now I gotta let them deduce all the shit that we probably just deduced like ahead of time and we're like steps ahead. I think that's the problem is we're overthinking it in some ways and just not thinking like a game in others in other ways. So that might be Yeah, I already want to think about this. Mr. Glasses is already deducing that, or is it inductive reasoning? Inductive or deductive? I always mix the two up. I used, I, I mean, I've taken like logic classes where I was very familiar with the difference between deductive and inductive reasoning. I was going to say deductive, but I might mean inductive without realizing it. But he's deducing that. No, wait up. Hold on. He said, what now? Hold on. Hold on. Which means at 9.40 the clock was the time. Wait. I need to go further back. I apologize, we're not even watching this. But he says the back of her skull was broken. I didn't see that in the autopsy report. The back of her skull would have been broken probably from the fall anyways, not from a clock. But putting that aside anyways, it's specifically stated the cause of her death was cardiac arrest. So he's claiming 940 at the clock was the time when the killer hit the victim to death. False. The victim died of cardiac arrest, and that's going to be a key element here, because the cause of death was not the clock, and if the back of her skull was cracked, it would be more likely from the impact, I think, than from the thing, because the injury was to the left uh, temple, not the back of the head. And then it also mentions that there's glass underneath the body, so 940 may not be the time of death. That may be the start of the altercation, but not necessarily the time of death. Although it would probably be really close. Just want to get that out there right now while it's in my head. 
You're quite clear about that, are you? Even though we have autopsy reports that state otherwise. Landlord Tiger must be at the criminal scene at 9.40 p.m. Well, someone would definitely have had to be there at 9.40. That's, that's for sure. If the clock broke as a result of it being struck, it had to have happened at 9.40. Does not necessarily mean the time of death. Lao 说吧，说了就痛快了。钟，什么钟？哦，对，他房间好像有个钟吧？是今年他过生日，我送给他的那个玻璃钟。当时我好心好意送给他，还被他臭骂了一顿，说什么过生日送钟，真是不知好歹。
So would the clock have been like on the desk, perhaps? I mean, it does even have some extra photos that might hint it would have been over here somewhere. Which makes things a little more unusual if it was used on her with an item that was from her room all the way out at the front door. Like it wouldn't have been a grab something off the shelf right next to her and hit. Like if anything, it would be maybe more likely over here. Like it even meant like it probably might be evidence coming with this later. But what we do know right now is the clock was a gift. He claims he didn't use it. And that, let me just double check what he said. Uh, sorry, uh, this one. Just gonna skip forward. There was a clock in her room. Yes, so the clock wasn't like in the front, like living room, dining room, whatever. It was in her room. Not at, like, it wasn't at the scene of the crime originally. In other words, it was far away. We'll keep that in mind. Next. He claims he did not hit her, that he only pushed her. Now, let's keep in mind also that she was attempting to attack him with a knife. He pushed her and left. He pushed her and left. Okay, so it seems believable so far. <laughs> Two or three minutes, yeah. Yeah, the landlord said he saw him as he was coming in. Yeah, so there's going to be some time. And this one is just basically he's saying he knows about the affair and that he, like, basically ignored it and tolerated it because it was helping her rent situation. Okay, so that video is useless. And yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm in the same line of thinking that you are, because he did say his little conf, uh, conflict happened for two to three minutes, and then he left, and the landlord did at earlier on state that he did see Tiger leaving when he came. So if he didn't even receive the message until 9.40, he wouldn't have been at the door at 9.40. So somebody is lying about the time. And then, putting that aside for a moment, there's a bigger issue, I think, as well, to think about, and that's in the reports, or the autopsy report. It specifically stated in here, at the end, cardiac arrest caused by trauma was the cause of death. Caused by trauma. Wait. Because it's possible this could be a mis... Like, you know, translating difficulty, but I assume cardiac arrest to be associated with the heart. If she was stabbed in the heart, I'm pretty sure that would be the likely thing, is the cardiac arrest being caused by that, not by the trauma. Because, yeah, trauma is a hit, like you just said. I don't think getting hit in the head repeatedly or extremely hard or anything would cause cardiac arrest. Like it might cause a concussion, it might cause other things, but 
not cardiac arrest. Plus, I mean, there was she was obviously stabbed. Yeah, it's possible it's a cover-up. Now, the thing is, let's see, strange scars in the front, both sides of the neck of the dead, subcutaneous tissue bleeding, injury, deep wound from the temple. Here's the one. Deep wound from the temple to the left side of the head and a large amount of bleeding. The wound was scratched by glass. So, I take out of that that she was struck in the side of the head on the left. Which for you guys, your left might look like this, but this is my left. Then there was a knife wound and another knife wound with the knife still intact. But the thing is, this is an autopsy report. So I think an autopsy report should be, like, we could treat that as a fact. Whether or not I understand it exactly, and if nothing's, like, mistranslated. Like, if it says cardiac arrest is the death, uh, the cause, we're going to say that is the cause. Now, the fact that it says by trauma makes things a little weirder. Because like cardiac arrest, I, I'm not a you know medical guy, but to me, like cardiac arrest would be like basically a heart attack. Like like if you were tortured to death, like you die of shock, it would be like a cardiac arrest. It would be pretty insane. But yeah, I don't like for some reason I'm getting the feeling like we got to use the autopsy report with something. Actually, I don't know what it would even let me use it against. Like, it has to be going off this testimony. So, let's work off of this testimony. We had, what, three pieces of new testimony? I think. So, he's talking about the clock. Gave it to her. It's got to be a time discrepancy that we need to be looking at here. That one he just talks about. Says he hit her. Nothing just pushed her. And then he did give us a time. Less than two or three minutes. So if you were in there at that time. Or actually, let's put it on number four. Or in the second slot. He gave us a time either on one or two. Right? He did say. He showed up at 935. And he did say he was only there for three or four minutes. The testimony of the landlord is now the company. He received a message around 940. I don't think it's this one, but I'm just going to do that just for the hell of it for a sec. I think it was one of these original testimonies. Because the door was unlocked. Wait, wait, wait. I saw a man walk out of her house. So this is the one where he talked about it. He talked about walking out of the house. Like, wa like, like he claims he saw Tiger walking out of the house. He received a phone call or a message at 940. Someone is lying. And I just don't know what combination I would need to try to do this because... Okay, now I'm making a mess. Mm, shit. Because now it's like I need to find the right piece that they want. Because, I mean, this makes perfect sense to me. But I have to... How do we... This is the one... This is around 9.40. 
wait a minute, or forget him for a moment. This is where he claimed the, that's where he gave a time. That's when he gave an exit time, like duration and exit time. And yet Ying here specifically stated, I thought it was this one. 当时我还走到门口看了一下，走廊里面空空荡荡的，就听到他俩吵架。我还给淼哥发了个信息，让他管一下。Oh shit. Okay. That might not be. 莎莎有个男，记得还会打莎莎。那天晚上我听到老虎在。This is kind of the only one that would be relevant if we had to use her testimony, because this one just talks about their relationship being bad. This one talks about the affair. This is the only one that. Has information like like relevant information or pertinent, but most likely we need to be investigating the these three, and I I can only presume that we need that number four, where he specifically stated. He says he was out in two or three minutes. And number three, he talks about the gift, the cock being a gift, and where it was located. The fifth one was what? <laughs> oh, talking about the... Okay. Yeah, that's when he was talking about the landlord, like he knew about the affair. So, it's only going to be pertinent to this. So we need to use this in, in conjunction with something. Thing else. What do we know? We've got. Oh,是啥子个老虎又打架？我就奇怪了哈，我是个房东，又不是包红哎，他给我发这些爪子。莎莎不给钱嘞，他就打莎莎。莎莎嘞，也想进入白发，想跟他分手，但我老虎凶。以前嘞，我就多一块头去了。This is where he talks about that. Because I don't know how much the game needs you to backpedal on things, so it's just more a matter of like we've got. Oh, well, she doesn't know the time. Only he presented us with the time. I don't think it was any of those, so crap. So we have the time. Maybe I need to combine that with some other piece of evidence that we might have. A lighter. Like, I somehow doubt we need the clock. Several small pieces under the body. I mean, it... Like, another thing to think about is that the clock itself may have simply been broken in a struggle and wasn't even used to strike the victim at all. Like maybe it just got knocked over or something along those lines. But I... I there's no point in trying to overthink that. Um, like, what did you see on TV, sir? Nothing. No. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to approach this one, guys. Because it's like, I think we know what we know, what we need to know. It's just we don't know how to tie it into place. We don't know if we need three clues or four or just a two like everything else was. We know most likely we only need two things, but... I want to see what they said at the end of this. 
Okay, I've got another question. He has other questions. He has other questions. It's really weird the way they're doing the acting because it's kind of like, hey, I have a question. Do you know what it is yet? No. Part of me wants to like badly try and Google this right now and see if there's any hints. I don't need a fucking walkthrough, but I just want a hint as to what you know, it, it needs a hint system, and there is not one present in this. Um, here it says lethal weapon knife. All right. Now let's pull these out. Let's see if we can focus on... The actual autopsy report, because I think that's currently the question at hand, as far as I think that guy is wrong about his try to find some other clues. Knife has his fingerprints. Oh, wait, yeah, you're right, you're right. That might trigger something like, hey, why is there your fingerprints on this knife? But we've already used the knife once like that in one of his testimonies, so I don't know if it would allow that. Three now. One where he talks about run, like not hitting her. I didn't stay there for long, so it's definitely that testimony in question, if that's the case. I don't know why I did that. But, like, this isn't going to do anything. Like, we already tried that. I don't know why that would work, it's not. Mm. Tell me about these, this pregnancy talk now. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this one. It's really... Exhibit... Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I I really don't know. I feel like I kind of may have hit a dead end with this whole thing. I'm willing to bet these all tie in later with the pregnancy thing. It's going to probably come into like a motive or something, but... Might be like a testimony versus another testimony. I don't remember which ones are, like, it's getting difficult. Oh, 
So I don't, I'm not sure which testimony I just pulled in there, but I am starting to feel I'm seeing a bit of a pattern here. Whereas, like, even if they give us like three bits of evidence, like testimonies, only one of them tends to be pertinent, and the others are kind of just filler. So it kind of seems like we know where we need to start targeting, and then we have to basically work off of that. Something has to build into it. Like that's that's the pattern I'm feeling. I'm not sure which testimony part I just gave him gave them because I thought we'd actually tried that a little earlier, but I'm we might have been trying three different things. Wait, wait. Go back. Okay. Stayed at the victim's house, 9.40 to 10. Irrelevant. That's irrelevant. <laughs> Yeah, there was no like physical, like other signs of mistreatment or, you know, a fight breaking out, like people knocking shit over everywhere and stuff like that. Wait, what? He said, wait, what did he? We need to integrate Tiger and make a breakthrough. <laughs> integrate. I think what they meant there is probably interrogate. There's no integrate Tigers. Yochi. <laughs> <laughs> Good cop, bad cop. Nee,如是回到我问题。二十分钟。我他妈绝对没带那么久。你们是不是破不了案,想赖我头上。无非是我做我监狱嘛。我告诉你,不可能,没门。老虎有些撑不住了哟,开始发小脾气了。还早着
monitoring. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, but now we've got. Well, let's let's review this testimony again because it was kind of weird. So this is where he was being asked like 20 minutes. Yeah, we, we're going to investigate that to the, the hoodie itself. So he's basically just confirming his side that he wasn't there for 20 minutes. Okay. So this is the video of time on it. I don't know yet. We're going to find out because that's what we're investigating next. So we've got two surveillance things. Okay, pause. This is on the 4th at 9.30. So this is the date of the, the day of the murder. And it's at 9.30. This should be a.m., I believe. Because... Uh, well, I don't know Japanese or sorry Chinese uh, uh, AM PM kanji. I know Japanese ones, but it's not that. But it's I'm gonna assume. Oh no, this might be. This might be P. I don't know. We got a timestamp on this one though. Like I mean, hold on. like you can see. It looks as if it might be daytime here because it just seems like I like these are shadows. It may not be, but we did see what it looked like. Like we saw the hoodie guy. We can't see the face. We see like a little circular thing on his thingy and he does have some kind of circular thingy on the back. And then this one takes place at 9.42. Okay, so these are, like, the shadows are totally different on this video. But this is basically, I think, 12 minutes later. There's a feminist way to walk. Maybe the shoes are uncomfortable, I don't know. But, like, he's... Okay, yeah, here we can see better. There is a yin-yang looking thing with like circles around it. And he is walking with a belt. So, we've got some questions to ask ourselves here. Well, one is, is this actually the landlord? Two, why... It, well, actually, let me get to my other point before I even... I want to get this off my chest. So let's go back to the... Or sorry, the reports. So here we had the map. This would be the monitor in question, right? You can see it specifically shows you where the location is as well as the direction. Notice how the monitor is over here pointing towards the building, the residential area. In other words, if you're moving to the residential area, you're going to the left. If you're leaving, you would be going to the right. The exception potentially being if you're going the long way around. No, that would completely bypass the camera. I'm sorry. So, like, if you're going from, say, here... To here, or vice versa, it's always going to appear in this direction unless they're bypassing the camera entirely. I want to make a note of that because, as we saw, I'm assuming it's not like mirrored or something, and I have no way of knowing for sure, he's going towards the left. The camera is pointing at the residence area, so he's going to the building right now. At 9.30, he didn't receive the message until 9.40. So why at 9.30 is he heading to the building is the first question. And then the second question is why at 9.42, 
after, like two minutes after he would have gotten the message, is he leaving with an item. Like he's clearly holding what looks like a belt or some similar object. So at this point, he would have received the call. So, wait a minute. Is it possible he's like getting dressed again or something like that and hasn't put his belt on yet? So, he, yeah, so you, 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 you can see where I'm going with that, right? I think this legs look skinnier. The film quality is actually different between the two. Yeah, those legs do. Or it's also possible that there might be some information with the shoes, but it may not be possible to extrapolate out of this data. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Those shoes aren't, those are not boots. Like, I don't know what they are, but they look more like the loafers that the tiger had. Whereas here, it almost looked like they were sneakers or something. No, I can't. I mean, it looks as if they're sneakers, maybe, but the, the film quality here is different. I'm assuming that we're talking 9.30 and 9.42 p.m. here the kanji is the same. So I'm assuming it's not someone came in at 9.30 in the morning and left at 9.42 at night. But I don't know why, because if it was like this is morning and that was night, I mean, this looks like daytime to me. Like, then that this is shadows and because of the extra light from the sun, everything is more, um, let's just say film grained. Whereas this one looks more like at night, there's a little bit of a shadow, but not much. So like, like if it was a street light, but if this is morning, then none of this even fucking matters that much. Ooh, this is fun, isn't it? I like it. I get to talk and reason, and I'm glad you guys are willing to talk with me because without that, we would probably already rage quit. I don't know because I'd be bouncing ideas off myself and getting nowhere. So, first off, let's have a look at his hoodie. There's, a, there's the yin-yang symbol. At no point did we ever see what his shoes look like, so we don't know that. Um... But I'm pretty safe in assuming that this is his clothes. Like that the guy we saw on the tape is wearing these clothes. Because it's, it's this hoodie. It's got that familiar yin-yang thing. I can't see the back of it. But we do have the front of it at least. And the dark pants. And the, any kind of flamboyant style of walk would reasonably fit this guy's profile. Problem being, he had the hoodie on, so we don't necessarily know 100% that it's him. But those are his clothing. So, I think the question now is, why was he going to the building at 9.30? On the video, anyway. At the point of the video spot. Why was he heading to the building and leaving the building at 9.42? I won't know which one. It's possible maybe this one might require two bits of evidence and corroborate that and, or, or weigh that against the landlord's testimony of because at the moment the suspect would have to be the landlord because this does not like this this conflicts with his story i don't know which one of these let me maybe just slide a couple of these around just to be sure okay none of that it's possible also it might be one or the other so let's ask a simpler question 
why were you heading towards the building at 9.30? You didn't receive the message until 9.40. And go off of that. So let's just pull out. Wanna hit the pause button? Booyah, bitch. Yes, she was strangulated with something. That's that's where that explains the belt part. But right now I guess we're focusing more on the timestamp because that's the more obvious thing. We're not looking for the weapon nor the motive. We're just trying to figure out why their stories are not matching up. And my question is, why was he heading towards the fucking building at nine thirty? Ten minutes before he received the message. Yeah, landlord claimed he came to the door at ten o'clock. He had left this community before nine forty-two. That's the second video. Surveillance video can lie to you if it turns out not to be him in the clothing. This <laughs> So now they're gonna... Ooh, scary. Wait, 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 wait. I wanna... Okay, so he says, I might have remembered something wrongly. Fair enough, that is that is possible. He says he was there when they were fighting. He said you were approaching as he was leaving, though. So you were there basically right after they fought. You saw at the door that Tiger was hitting Sasha. Okay, well now you're changing your story. He was... Wait, 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 what? He was slapping with the clock at Sasha's face. <laughs> oh, that's just an amazing way of wording it. It was really rough and hard. I was terrified. Conflict occurred again. Hmm. So we got another testimony with him. But I'm going to backpedal a moment here. Although he did mention that he left sometime before 942, so maybe that may not. But I'm going to just... Because I wanted, like, I think the detail in this video is he's leaving with something in his hand. Like a belt. But if my gaming instinct is right, this is what's in question. So then maybe my question would be related to surveillance video number two. If he was at the door looking, why didn't the neighbor see him? That's a Potentially good question. Well, she didn't see anybody. 
They must have been doing a conflict inside the house. Hmm. Well, judging by 9.30 being the, like, the shortly before period. Like, I mean, realistically, this shows that he was in and out in only 12 minutes. And if the neighbor never saw this... The, the body yeah there's something going on yeah there's a few questions to be asked here but okay so the surveillance videos are not likely to be part of this 